जाते हैं निलोत पाल का मेरा राजेश का सबका किताब ले जाते हैं एंड सपोज हिस्स बुक इज चोजन कि वो तो यार अंकल बाइक पर बना दे पिक्चर तो वी एज एन ऑथर एंड एजेंसी हम दो साल के लिए उनको दे देते हैं किताब सपोज हमें दस रुपया मिलता है ठीक है दस रुपया का पूरा दस नहीं मिलेगा दो रुपया दे और जब पिक्चर बनेगी तब आठ मिलेगा समझाने के लिए You're not from the just, just, to, just to add to it, so that's the major way how producers work. There's another way; it's called acquisition. So acquisition would be outright purchase. So what they say is that the sir. इतना अच्छा है कि देंगे तो कि दस रुपए है और दस रुपए ही मिलेगा. Correct. Um, but we will pay it to you over a period of a year in four installments. Now after that, we may not make anything out of it, or we may sell it to ten other people. Then the risk or the profit is ours. So that is another way mm-hmm. how you know producers look at it. Usually, what I've noticed, Anirban, is and of course you know who who better than you knows about it. That uh, you know production houses who pitch usually to web platforms. They like to option because the decision making is in the hands of the platform. A Netflix or an Amazon or Hotstar, Z5 will say yes. Then you know they'll pay. Production houses who are predominantly making movies, they like to acquire because they are not depending on somebody else's yes or no. They have the funds, they have, uh, you know, the money to make it. They will make it. So that is how it happens. Fortunately, I think both he and Rajesh have, uh, you know, acquisition deals. In fact, uh, on a lighter note, I just wanted to say that Rajesh's deal took a lot of time because he said when I. अंकल पाई पे लिखा था मैं पाई पाई का हिसाब लूंगा मां मजा तो मां ना और आज की नोट्स हो बोथ द ऑथर्स ऑन द पैनल इज ये जो हम जब किताब लिखते हैं ये तो बच्चे हमारे है ना वी आर सो प्रोटेक्टिव अबाउट इट राइट बट वंस वी गिव इट आउट फॉर एडाप्शंस देयर इज अ सेंस ऑफ इनसिक्योरिटी एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट सो आर बोथ ऑफ यू इन्वॉल्व In the process of uh, screenplay writing or inputs, yeah, then your producers, who are, I would like they... you also to add to it because we did uh, the Delhi Dazzle and you were part of some sort of the creative process. So please, True. you also add all of you if you add your inputs. True. Okay. Sorry, my. Ah, uh, I mean, uh, uh, both of these books are still in the release stages. So, abhi wo process pe aaya nahi hai ki I start working on. Uh, But since I come from a film and television prior to being in uh, uh, publishing, so I guess I will be. So the talks are on for that. I don't know whether I will be involved as a part of a script writing team or as a consultant. So, ha. Huh, so uh, adding to the uh, earlier part of it was because he was a child and kisi aur ke hand mein gaya. Ab kya karein? So because I think my mindset since I have worked in. Film and television, and realized and seen uh, since as a writer also as as a creative director as well. So, I have written and someone has done satyanash. If I can say that, and I have also seen that someone has done satyanash. So, I have seen both sides of the process. So, I am kind of like uh, take it with a pinch of salt or balance it with a pinch of salt. I am kind of like take it with a pinch of salt or balance it with a pinch of salt. I am kind of like take it with a pinch of salt or balance it with a pinch of salt. I am kind of like take it with a pinch of salt or balance it with a pinch of salt. I am kind of like take it with a और ये सिर्फ वहां नहीं होता ये हम रियलाइज करते हैं एज एन ऑथर रीडर्स में भी रीडर्स के फीडबैक आते हैं हम किसी माइंडसेट से लिखते हैं किसी और सोच में लिखते हैं कि हमने ये देखा रीडर कॉम्प्लीमेंट कर रहा है पर कुछ और ही चीज कॉम्प्लीमेंट कर रहा है हमने सोचा भी नहीं था तो आई डोंट नो आई हैव सीन राइटर्स गेटिंग ऑफ एंडेड कि अरे यार ये क्या बात कर रहा है मतलब लिखी तो ऐसी थी नहीं हमने मैं तो इट्स अ ग्रेट थिंग लुक एट द पॉसिबिलिटीज दैट यू हैव ओपनड अप So I think, from our point of view, I think we should be magnanimous enough and mature enough to understand that it will happen. We can say that we can give a temper, or we can say that this is a greater process and it has to be done. So I guess. Yeah. 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 Y
Well, I'd like to add to the review part here. I got a review. It's a five-star review. And it say English is too easy to understand. Ha, <laughs> I get that as well. So I, I don't know how to take it as a, as a compliment or as a taunt. I, I got one that said, <laughs> that said one star because Amazon delivered late. <laughs> you know, our packaging was bad. <laughs> yeah, sorry, yeah, that happens. And now coming to the subject. Um, Definitely, I'd like to be a part of this whole uh, process because, you know, my, I'm talking about my books basically. Both my books are based in Assam, in knowledge. So the culture, the way the people look, the way they dress, all these things require expert attention. As, as I said before, we were making this documentary. The first draft cut which we saw the documentary, the first cut was horrible. Because you know, Lachit was wearing on short banyan and everything, which was not the actual dress. And all the team, all the panelists from the expert team, they were like banging their heads on. Kya bana diya aap to bani hai? Then later they got all these things edited there. That this this is the muga color. This is actually worn by the royalty of uh, the Asmis Aun. So we wanted this color to be on Lachit. But they made him all wear white. So um, definitely, I'd like to be a part of it, if not as a you know, script writer, as a consultant, because both my books require this that's expert you know, opinion. So my book, I, I talk about the new one, which is called India's Money Heist. It's based on uh, the Chalimbara bank robbery, which was Kerala in Kerala. India ka sabse bada bank robbery, 80 kg gold chudaya gaya. Before the book was complete, the rights were gone. Because hey, but masala dar wala story. Hai. So when I had my first meeting with the with the production company that uh, uh, sort of acquired the rights, um, I had already spoken to a superstar who also so I had spoken to Mohan Lal who launched the book, and he seemed I given him a hint saying ki I'd like you and Fahad Fasil to make this thing start. So conversation Bombay, Mumbai में जब आया तो conversation conversation था कि ये हिंदी में बनाया क्या? क्योंकि हिंदी फिल्मों का बजट ज़्यादा होता है, reach भी ज़्यादा होता है, market is larger. Uh, but my conversation with the uh, my conversation with the team was that let's not bastardize it. You know एक ना होता है ना कि आप story लेके इतना ही बाहियाँ बना देते हैं पर culture ही Change. This story is about grounded people, about early people, you know, set in Kerala. Uh, it's then becoming like Jackie Shroff and Devdas uh, or, or Aishwarya Rai, Devdas saying, Eesh, Eesh, every 30 seconds. That doesn't make you, you know, Bangali. Right? So, the, so I said, no, 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 we will make it in Malayalam. So, and as a writer also, then I have my inputs as you know, into the process of trying to. As God, as much as we can. Uske baat then it becomes the vision of the of the maker. They also have their own, uh, you know, inputs. If I can add, yes, yes. You know, I think uh, uh, I should now speak more as an editor. Well, Twenty-five years I've been an editor. So uh, the fact of the matter is, somebody once told me very uh, before I became a writer. He said, "Remember one simple golden rule: Don't fall in love with your characters and your book." That's a very good statement, you know, very good thing. So invariably what happens is sometimes we fall in so much in love with it, we don't realize there is a perspective in the same story which could be better. Now better is a, a reflector, yeah. It's the way he could realize, oh, you've written like this, couldn't it be better? I think that's where it comes with the sudden amount of maturity. We realize that this story has a certain theme, a certain baseline to it. That has to be that moral has to be kept, that entire uh, principle has to be kept. If that is being taken care of by the productions, I think um, we don't end up into that discussion, book is better or the film is so. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm going to open up the floor to the audience to ask questions uh, and yes. So, you just take the mic up here. Please introduce yourself. Yeah. Introduce yourself and and the question is to whom you want to ask question. Uh, my name is Nirupama Supramanian, um, and my question is to all of you. Um, uh, 
So you just said, I mean, I'll just address you because you said this, that you uh, directly contacted the producer. Uh, so the, there's no publisher in between. There's, no, there's nobody in between who publishes the book, right? So who, who, how does the book actually come out? And my second question, which is to all of you, is that, um, uh, you know, Rajesh, I just spoke about uh, the art of storytelling. Uh, how India has it and how we must rediscover it and all that. So when, uh, you know, when everybody is writing for films and films want only true stories which have actually happened, then uh, where does your uh, new Mahabharata come from? Where, uh, because uh, if everybody is writing, or, or to put it another way, uh, is this the end of novel writing? The dying art of the novel? Of the fiction. Of fiction, yeah. Thanks. So, um, with respect to your first question, it's, it's a good observation. So basically what happens is that the book can be sold in three ways. The third way is when the book is out in the market and it's available for everyone and the producer reaches out. The second way is when the rights have been sold to a publisher but the book hasn't released. And the first way is that when I have taken the rights but I have yet to pitch it to a publisher. So these days what happens is that production houses prefer stage one or two simply because the competition is lesser. Once the book is out in the market then it's for everyone and then they compete and they price it accordingly. Uh, but, but in the first two you can, you can do it in, you know, faster. So, so you know the author has already signed up with me. I know it's a brilliant story. I can always call up the producer and say hey look this is a story. This is what it is. Would you be interested? And once we know that there's someone who's interested we sign up with them. We set up a time frame. Uh, you know, there have also actually been production houses who have called me up and said it's when you want to make something on a particular subject but it should be based on a book. So they give me the idea, I get the relevant writer on board, we create that book within that particular time frame and then the production house makes it on the book. Meaning it's published? It's, eventually it has to be published but the rights are taken up earlier. So that even when the book comes out, it's written soon to be a major motion picture or soon to be a major web series. And and that is that is how it happens from there. So so yeah. That is the first thing. The second point is very valid. Uh, as I said, you know, uh, novels should never die because writing fiction is a work of creation. It's a work of creativity. So if you kill creativity, you're killing literature because it is inherently a creative pursuit. Um, as I said, it is, it is about commercials at the end of the day. So what happens is that it is not to say that there are no publishers who are publishing fiction. Probably the bigger names in the industry are not because they want to publish something that will sell. Over here, what I feel people need to do is realign themselves. So if, you know, there is, there is an inherent thing that, you know, any author who calls this Nothing wrong in it. So everyone will call and say that, you know, um, I want Harper or Top to publish my book. But and there's nothing wrong, as I said. But but if everyone says that, then ideally there should be only these three publishers who publish all books. That doesn't happen. And if everyone wants to be published by them, then those three will decide who they want to publish. Right? So it's very important for the authors to also understand, do a research that who are the publishers who are publishing fiction. Because that is that has now become their expertise area. In fact, I'll give you a very interesting statistic. During COVID, no major publisher was bringing out any book. But some of the younger publishers in the country, when I say younger publishers, publishers who've been in the trade for the past five, six, seven years, so they're not young, but they're younger, were bringing out books predominantly being sold on platforms like Amazon. The bookstores were shut, and those books did really well, and it worked well for young and new authors because what was happening was that if there was a first time author his book was coming out on Amazon and if there was someone who was an experienced writer say even somebody like a one for example his book was also being sold on Amazon so it brought the first timer and the experienced campaigner on a level playing field so if you could actually market and promote your book in a smarter way chances were that you could outdo the sales of the other book so you know, you have to see opportunity even in adversity because that is a positive outlook. So, and it's very important to also know that, you know, whichever publisher believes in your book, 
is the best publisher for you. Sure. So, for example, if you've written a book and Penguin says no, and X says yes, X is the better publisher for your book because they're showing faith in your vision. If Penguin or A or B is not taking it up, I mean, what difference does it make? So, you know, understand that and you will form a perfect collaboration. Nilutpal, for example, you know, both his books have come out with a publisher which is called Oxley One Publishing and they've been doing some fantastic work. Uh, the Nuts will also be brought out by them. In the last four or five years, they've brought out, uh, you know, some 50, 60, 70 titles and at least 10, 12 of them have been taken up for movie adaptations, right? So, again, Flat producers don't really have a problem with who the publisher is if it's a traditional publisher, right? So that is there, but publishers do when it comes to fiction. So it's it's something that we need to realign our thought process, to. and that is how you know we can make the most of it. Sir, sir, so, आपको उस जगह जाकर काफी देर तक दिन तक वहां रुकते हैं और दूसरा सवाल था सर कि जो जैसे जो ऑथर है वही वो डायलॉग भी लिख सकता है क्या और स्क्रीन प्ले और बुक्स में दोनों में क्या डिफरेंस है सर तीन क्वेश्चन सर आपने मौका सर उसमें और एक जोड़ दीजिए तीन पहला सवाल जवाब ये है कि नहीं मुझे जाना नहीं पड़ता क्योंकि बाइंग प्रॉफिट के हो चुका है मैं उधर जाके करूंगा क्या दूसरी बात ये जो किताब मैंने लिखा है आई रोट इट जो पुलिस टीम ने इन्वेस्टिगेट करके सॉल्व किया था उनके साथ लिखा है तो फर्स्ट पर्सन का जो एक्सपीरियंस था मुझे पता है ठीक है मैं 1.5 साल तक उन्हें इंटरव्यू करके ये किताब लिखा तो इट इज द जेन्युइन 100% ट्रू डिटेलिंग सब कुछ है इसमें ठीक है तो मुझे जाना नहीं पड़ा वहां सेकंड क्या था आ, ये डायलॉग लिख सकता डायलॉग था क्योंकि मुझे पता है उन लोगों ने क्या बोला था ना उस उस वक्त पे है ना जो पुलिस इंस्पेक्टर है बोला था हाय तुम्हें लिख दिया हाय तो वही है तो हां लिख वो कर स्क्रीन प्ले और स्टोरी में जमीन आसमान का फर्क है स्टोरी जो है एक स्ट्रक्चर होता है एक वो होता है स्क्रीन प्ले आप स्क्रीन के लिए लिखते हो है ना तो वो पूरा डायरेक्शन और फील अलग होता है फॉर्मेट और फॉर्मेट अलग होता है लेकिन लेखक लिख सकता है सर हां ऑफ कोर्स लिख सकता है लेखक प्ले भी चला सकता है अगर चाहे तो <laughs> तो वही बात है नेक्स्ट सर मेरा सवाल ये था अगर कोई नोवेल जब वो फिल्म एडॉप्शन में तब्दील हो जाती है तो क्या किसी रीडर को जैसे मैं एक साहित्य का स्टूडेंट हूं तो क्या मुझे वो नोवेल पढ़नी चाहिए या फिर वो 3 घंटे में या 2 2.5 घंटे में पूरी नोवेल को सम अप करके कर दिया गया उसको पढ़ो पहले पढ़ो यस सर क्या पहले सर दूसरा उसी से जुड़ा एक छोटा सवाल था सर कि उतनी बड़ी लंबी जर्नी शब्दों के बीच से जब एक ऑथर गुजर रहा है उसके बाद वो सारे क्यों पढ़ना चाहिए मैं आपको बता देता हूं क्योंकि आपके दिमाग वाली जो पिक्चर है ना यस वो सबसे ब्लॉकबस्टर से ज्यादा ब्लॉकबस्टर है क्योंकि आप जब पढ़ते हो आप खुद फिल्म का डायरेक्टर हो कैमरामैन हो एक्टर हो डायलॉग राइटर हो सब कुछ आप हो यस हम तो लिख चुका है है ना वी हैव रिटन दिस नाउ हाउ यू आर मेकिंग योर ओन पिक्चर वर्जन इट इज अप टू यू है ना आप सुभाष गाय हो आप स्टीवन स्पीलबर्ग हो आप राजकुमार संतोषी हो है ना उससे भी ज्यादा उम्दा डायरेक्टर हो है ना सो रीडिंग इज एब्सोल्युटली इंपॉर्टेंट सर तो दूसरा सवाल ये था सर सप्लीमेंट्री कि जब आप उतने लंबे सफर से गुजरते मतलब उतना लंबा सफर करते हैं शब्दों के बीच से और वो जब दो ढाई घंटे में समप कर दिया जाता है तो उसको देखने के बाद आपने जो लिखा था उसको पर्दे पे देखने के बाद जो बातें आपके मुताबिक नहीं थी उसको देखने के बाद क्या बिंग राइटर आपको हर्ट होता है सर या फिर यू नो लेखक है रोल डाल काफी फेमस वैसे उन्होंने एक किताब लिखी थी और उसके ऊपर एक पिक्चर भी बनी तो उसमें ऐसा होता है कि एक बच्चा है वो एक होटल जाता है जहां पे बहुत सारे चुड़ैले हैं उनकी कॉन्फ्रेंस हो रही है ठीक है और उसको वो चूहा बना देता है और पिक्चर के एंड में क्या होता है कि एक जो उसमें से चुड़ैल है वो अच्छी होती है तो वो आकर उसको वापस इंसान बना देती है और फिर वो जो लड़का अपनी दादी के साथ रहता है वो हंसी खुशी खत्म कर देता है मुझे ऐसा लगा 
कि ये वर्जन ज्यादा अच्छा है अगर आप बुक देखेंगे और इससे रोल डाल को आपत्ति हुई थी बुक के अंदर ऐसा होता है कि वो बच्चा जो है वो चूहा ही बना रहता है तो वो कहानी ऐसे खत्म होती है कि उनकी जो दादी है वो बूढ़ी थी तो उनके पास वैसे जीने के लिए बहुत ज्यादा समय नहीं था और जो वो जिस चूहे में उन्होंने उसको तब्दील किया था वो चूहे का लाइफ स्टाइल ही बहुत कम होता है छह महीना होता है चूहे का लाइफ स्टाइल तो एंड में किताब के अंदर ये होता है कि वो दोनों बोलते हैं कि कोई बात नहीं हम लोग रफली वी विल डाई अराउंड द सेम टाइम तो वो उनकी विजन थी अब मुझे एज अ व्यूअर बेटर लगा मूवी वाला क्योंकि हैप्पी एंडिंग है ठीक है अच्छा है पर वो बहुत अपसेट हो गया उससे कि आपने मेरी विजन पे क्यों नहीं ध्यान दिया सो इट वर्क्स फ्रॉम केस टू केस बेसिस एक और भी चीज ये ध्यान में रखनी पड़ती है कि जब आप मूवी बना रहे हैं तो जैसा इन्होंने बोला कि उसमें फर्क होता है तो कुछ कुछ चीजें आपको खुद से सप्लीमेंट करनी पड़ती है to make it more interesting you know so all those things are there to so, ye depend karta hai sir ye sawal mera isliye tha kyunki jaise maine kashmir ke bare mein padha aur us pe abhi jo recently ek movie aayi thi kashmir file to usme jo kuch dikhaya dikhaya gaya tha fiction yes sir. next question fiction is there any other question is a agenda driven movie yes. understand kyun wo picture banayi gayi thi इंसाइट करने के लिए yes. है ना भड़काने के लिए बनाया गया था पिक्चर है ना वेरी yes. कन्वीनियंटली वो सरकार का नाम नहीं लिया जो पॉलिटिकल पार्टी तब मौजूद था तब उसका नाम नहीं लेके प्राइम मिनिस्टर कौन था आपको पता है yes. है ना तो लेट्स लेट्स नॉट स्टिक टू मूवीज कि ऐसा भी होता है किताब जो है एक सोर्स मटेरियल होता है और जो प्रोड्यूसर है वो बदल ही देता है जैसे सर ने कहा है ना वो भी हो सकता है के साथ हुआ सर पिंजार में जो चीज वो होता है जैसे मैंने ए, एक लाख वर्ड्स का किताब है दैट डजंट मीन कि सब कुछ दिखाएंगे स्क्रीन प्ले वाली सवाल है इसमें कई बार क्या होता है कि हाँ ये ये मुद्दा तो जैसे मैं आखिरी में मैंने छोड़ा था तो आखिरी में बात यही बोल रहा था ये तो टिल काउस का मोह ये डिस्कशन करते रहते हैं कि किताब अच्छी थी कि फिल्म जो उसमें बनी बहुत कम फिल्में ऐसी हैं जिस पे ये विवाद नहीं छिड़ता एक गॉडफादर है ये बहुत बड़ा है गॉडफादर पे ये विवाद ही नहीं छिड़ता एक तो ये भी कारण है कि मारियो पुजन खुद के को राइटर और मारियो पुजन ये एक्सेप्ट किया है कि बहुत सारी चीज़ें हैं जो फ्रांसिस पोपोला के विजन में थी जो मैंने सोचा नहीं ये भी एक बड़ापन है उनका और फ्रांसिस फोर्ट पोपोला ने अभी पचासवीं जयंती में उनको बोला कि ये एक आदमी का विजन है जो आज नहीं है पर उसके बगैर कुछ नहीं होता वो मारियो पुजन ये बहुत सारी चीजें और कई जगह रहता है जैसे आपने पिंजर का ये दिया मैं तमस का एग्जांपल देता हूं बिस्कु सार तमस तमस आपने देखी क्या कमाल की बनाई मूवी ने देखी मूवी नहीं देखी सर आप मूवी भी देखी बिस्कु सार मूवी भी देखे हैं बिस्कु सार ने जो लिखी है उस कहानी को रूपांतरण करना और इतनी अच्छी तरह करना वो आसान नहीं है तमस आसान नहीं है बनाना आज के दौर में तो बन भी नहीं सकती है शायद वो बंद ही हो जाएगी शायद बीच में मैं बता रहा हूँ उस जमाने में अस्सी के दशक में तीस साल बाद क्योंकि भीष्मा ने शायद बावन या तिरपन में लिखी थी किताब तो अब कुछ तीस पैंतीस साल बाद उन्होंने गोविंद नेला ने जो फिल्म बनाई थी टीवी में सीरीज करके भी दिखाई थी कमाल की है मतलब अब ये देखना चुनना मुश्किल होता है ये तो अब एक बहस का मुद्दा है कि अरे ये अच्छी ये अच्छी बट दोनों ही अच्छे हैं अपने ये हर जगह होता है हम लोग भी ऐसा होता है सर हमारे साथ भी कि भाई उतनी बड़ी नॉवेल्स पढ़ने के बजाय हम लोग भी दो ढाई घंटे में उसको देख के उसके नॉवेल ही पढ़ा जाता है पहले अपने दिमाग में दिमाग का पिक्चर देखते हैं नॉवेल पहले उसके बाद स्क्रीन वाले पिक्चर देखते हैं